Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia. Last time, we made it part way through the uh, Dom Ruins, and in this episode we are going to complete the Dom Ruins. Man, this, yeah, this place is a little long and I apologize, but hey, that's the game and uh, it's pretty, I, I like it. Anyway, um, off screen, like I said, I was uh, powering up my water magic by way of that uh, face that shoves out at you near the beginning of the ruins, and uh, just as I didn't get too far, I only got him to level 4, but uh, because he has uh, wind and water magic, those combined, I got him to learn Crackle, so that does ice damage to one en enemy. Let's see, with uh, Sue, I got her to level 5, so um, she now knows uh, Snooze, which is a really, oh yeah, I think, uh, yeah, he knows Snooze too, they all know Snooze, and um, that can put all enemies to sleep. Now, of course, there's like a... It's not 100%. There's a chance that they won't fall asleep. But it's actually pretty good. The fact that it targets all enemies. So if there's a large group of enemies, you can cast this. And good chance some of them will go to sleep. And that'll give you some uh, reprieve. And because she also knows Earth Magic, we got the Cure Spell. Which is a green power. Which can cure poison. So yeah, we don't have to carry around antidotes. And also, she got all heal. All right, so it's HP to every party member, party member, <laughs> party member, but only a little bit. And the same with uh, Fina. Got her to level five. Didn't bother going to level five with Justin, just because uh, he's going to be focused more on attacking than anything else. All right, so without further ado, let's uh, get out of this place. All right, and go up. I don't think there's anything in that other room. And then let's go this way. And oh, almost missed this. Here. Go to the cliff. Oh. And we get that to move forward. But has it moved forward enough? I don't think so. So this time, let's go back this way. Now, where are the enemies? I haven't. Uh... Yeah, luckily when I w when I backtracked, all the enemies I'd killed before stayed dead. So yeah, that was good. All right, so uh, nothing to do here. Now we go back here and the reason we didn't go this way before was because we wanted to press that button up there first. And now. Press this button, and we can cross the creepy face platforms. Hooray! Oh, more enemies to kill. Man, this part of the ruins looks a lot more uh, well maintained. I wonder why that is. Right, and up here, and back outside again. I wish it would start me at a good camera angle. Alright, so, oh, more things to kill. Anyway, we go over here, and we get... Another mana egg, alright, and I have to clear more space out. So let's get rid of, I have plenty of trollers, I'll get rid of one of those. Okay, we've got the mana egg now. Go up here. And kill more things. And, of course, more money. 
And then I want to head this way. Oh, look at those poor orcs. They're they're all trapped and stuff. Well, let's let them out. Just stand right here, press X, and we let the poor guys out. What the? Gosh, oh, we try to do these guys a favor, and they try to bash our skulls in, and there's ghosts too. Crap. <laughs> and those guys almost snuck up on me. Anyway, over here we get... The shell armor. And, uh... Oh, we can't just equip it, we have to discard another item. Crap. Well, like I said, I have plenty of... Cholas. So I'll just discard one of those. And let's see... Let's equip this... to Sue. Since she has the uh, least amount of defense, I believe. Actually, no. Um, looks like Fina does. Never mind. Shell armor goes to her. All right. All right. And now, let us go. This way. Another elevator. And... Let's see. Oh, another one of those, uh... Closed eyeballs. Oh, snap. There are a lot of enemies down there. Um... Well, might as well take care of him. I'll see you in a little bit. Whew, alright, that wasn't too bad. Anyway, another closed eye here. Let's open that up. For some gold and some battles. Oh, come on. What the heck? How come, I, how come I'm not, like, battling them? Do I have to open the... Well, if you open this eye, maybe they'll swoop down. There, there we go. Yeah, it was hard to see uh, where the, that they were, like, up in the air from this perspective. Anyway, open this chest and we get... What do we get? A magic lamp? Anyway, let's discard... Another trolla. And take the magic lamp. What does that do? There's so, so many items this game. I uh, restore two MP all levels. Alright. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, back to where we came from. Let's see, what's over here? Stairs. Alright. And we're outside again. Um. Hello? Ah. Gold. See, is this where I want to be right now, anyway? Um. Oh, you know what? I think I did miss something, though. Let's see. Aha, there's a closed eye. There's actually something I want to show you. Where is it? I think, right here, yeah, don't press that button. Do not press it. If you do, well, uh, bad things will happen. Anyway, I think it turns these stairs into a ramp, actually, and so you, and it's permanent like that, so you can't undo it, and you can't get these little goodies. Try another blue pill, and I have to get rid of more and more stuff. Um, Gosh, I should be selling these iron maces because they'll make us money, but at the same time. Let's see. I'll sell another chola. I'll get rid of them. We have to get rid of one more anyway, so. I'll just get rid of this ginseng. And get ourselves a blue pill. 
And... A yellow pill. Actually, let me check what those do. I don't even know what they do. <laughs> I think they're good, though. 20 MP all levels to ally. Ooh, that's really good. And 30 SP to one person. So yeah, keep those around. Probably won't need them for a while, but those are more like boss fight type items. Alright, so now I believe we go... down here. Don't worry, we are almost done with this place. And here we get... some money. Let's see, oh, and more enemies. Alright, and now if you did press that button, that I told you not to press, then uh, just drop down here and you'll have to backtrack to the elevator that way. But, because I did press the button, even though it's something I did my last playthrough, because I didn't know any better. Um, we could just head back this way, and it's shorter. I believe. So, we can head up these stairs that aren't a ramp, because I didn't... Actually, you know what? I will even show you. Oh. Maybe that's... Well, there is another button. Well, I think it's at the very bottom. Oh, well, anyway. I think you can actually, yeah, lure monsters to this and have them drop off, but whatever. Anyway, to the elevator. And there's only one direction we can go. And there's a safe point, a stashing place, and a very special looking door. You know what that means. Um, I'm going to stash some things, heal up, and see you in a little bit. Alright, so no big deal, I just stashed a few items, and I have pretty much the same equipment I have on before. Jason and Sue have holy maces, and I have a hunting knife on Fina. Anyway, let's see what's going on in here. The door closes behind us ominously, and oh, hello there. Um, hi? Do, do, do you need something? We, we kind of need to get past there. If it's okay. Or you can just sit there making those ominous noises. No problem. Fine. Yeah, no intro to the boss or anything. We just get... Ganymede. So, let's have... Um, you do dove you break. Now, something interesting about this boss. This boss has two parts. The head and the shell. However, they both share the same amount of health, so there's only one health bar, and it doesn't matter which part of the body you hit, it will only uh, take down the health of just that health bar. And if you hit both, then they will accumulate into one damage, like one uh, total damage. So it doesn't matter, just go for it, just destroy it. There's nothing really special about this guy. And let's see, let's have you, of course. Uh, up some defense, and just use your most powerful moves. Um, so, you can use your burn flame. Interesting to note, this boss's name is Ganymede. In um, Greek mythology, Ganymede was actually considered to be the most beautiful adolescent boy on Earth. Adolescent mortal boy, and he was so beautiful, in fact, that Zeus took him up into Olympus and gave him immortality so that he could be the god's cupbearer. He also had a sexual relationship with him. Fun facts for you to know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why this guy's named Ganymede, probably just because it's a cool name. There's also a moon named Ganymede, and there's other things as well. But that's the uh, etymology of that name, I do believe. The burn flame. Hasn't an attacked us yet. But probably because we're not having given him the chance yet. Um, let's do one more dig in. Oh, flame burn him. Sweet. You can't get 
And that should be enough defense for us. Alright, so... Now let's see, out of level 2 magic... Um... I haven't shown you knife roll yet, so let's do that. And the reason Para Whip is grayed out is because we don't have a whip equipped. We have to have a whip in order to use that uh, move. But it's fine, we don't need it. Not too bad. Let's see. Let's do crackle. Ha! Chill out. Let me show you that. Nice. Yeah, I think it's weak against ice attacks. So maybe it's just that ice attack is really powerful. But um, I don't think I've shown you tremor yet. That's actually a cool move. And it actually affects flying enemies as well, and you'll see why. Even though it's like an earthquakeish move. Earthquakes are scary! <laughs> yes, they are, Sue. Yes, they are. But yeah, you see that? So it like shoots like earth projectiles up in the air. So if you're up against flying enemies, feel free to still use it if you need to. And just keep on uh, wailing on them. Not really much special to this enemy. Does have a lot of health and defense, but uh, is slow. And we're not really giving it much chance to attack. Alright, so let's give her another crackle. Ha! Chill out! Uh oh. And look at him doing backflips in the air. For one damage, yeah. That is why it's very important to use digging to uh, up that defense because it goes a long way. And I think, oh crap. Well, I was going to say I, I'll, I'll avoid using another tremor because I want to make sure I have an all heal, but I am already out of level 2 MP. Oh well, no big deal. We still have heals. So, um. We still have Ra Ra, which does the same thing, so it's all good. Huh, what's Whacker? I don't even remember. I don't remember ever using Whacker, but why not? Here goes. Here goes the boom! Oh man, Sue, so you are awesome. And um, well, oh, we still have Crackle. So let's use another one of those. This guy should be out pretty soon. Chill out. I don't think I mentioned it that both his head and his shell have, like, if you look at the bottom right, they both have different um, thing uh, icons on the gauge, meaning when the head gets to the command, then it can attack, and then when the shell gets there, it can do another attack. So it kind of can attack two per round if you want to count it as that. Um, I think it's just time to start doing combos, because we're out of magic and SP. But it's no big deal, because he's dead. Need some armor and some gold. Shell armor, another set of shell armor, alright. Level up, levels up all around. I still know what to call it, levels up, level ups. Let's equip that shell armor. We'll put this one on Sue. Because, yeah, she has a little less of the defense than uh, Jason. And there's no scene afterwards, so you can uh, feel free to go back and heal, and I'll just do that. Bam! And save if you want, but I don't need to. I don't even think you need to heal because there's nothing too bad coming up. Alright. And what lies beyond this door? What was Ganymede protecting? Have we? Hmm. Yeah, I actually don't 
remember that. <laughs> but okay. I remember Leite, I just don't remember that ball. <laughs> Maybe she didn't completely believe us about the whole Leite thing, but she's gonna believe us now. Hello there. Tell us, tell us. Ooh, do a cutscene she's gonna tell us. There is no one in this world who would interfere with the blessings of the spirits. Or with our civilization, which began together with this spirit light. Our civilization began to spread far and wide. Angelo became prosperous enough to cover even the farthest reaches of the land. This building that you are in now is also from that period. Go east, Justin. The place called Alent is a place far from here. You still have a very long way to travel. East? From here? Pretty soon we'll reach the end of the world, Liete. Tell me, please. Just where is this Alint? There is no such thing as the end of the world, Justin. Ooh. Awesome. So yeah, the world doesn't end where that big old wall is. Hmm. Um, oh, okay. That's right. Could be hard. Oh, the misty forest. Oh. That's the spirit, Justin. <laughs> he does have a point. Alright, so it looks like we're done with this place. Let's see, is there like a shortcut out or. Is uh. Huh? I think that's. Well. Uh, let me sh see if I can show you the way out of here, because there should be a shortcut. Um, so this should be... Yeah, I'm going to make this episode long, so I'm going to show you how to get out of here, which is not through there. So, back through here. down here. Yeah, they make us walk out even though there aren't any more enemies to fight or anything. I wish they would just teleport us out, but okay, what is? Oh, 
should be out soon. Aha. Anyway, hop down here. And straight on till morning. Past the uh, provocative thrusting heads. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you didn't think the same thing. Almost out of here. See, all the enemies still dead. Oh. And I let that thing hit me one more time for old time's sake. <laughs> Yeah. With our hands and feet. <laughs> we'll find some way. Well, we have to check it out first because we don't even know what it looks like up close if there's handholds or what. Anyway, let's get back to the safe point and I'll end it off here. So, can we get to the Misty Forest and what awaits us at the end of the world? Find out next time on Let's Play Grandia. Thank you for watching and have a good day.